Hey guys, and welcome back to Storytime. To Griffin with you here, and how's your day? I mean, for serious, how is your day? Just look at the screen and tell me how your day is. How, just how was it? See, I, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a lot of mixed answers here. <laughs> but, you know what? I hope it was good. I'll tell you what, I've had some pretty hard days uh, in the last few weeks with uh, moving. And... Uh, yeah, I broke my other foot and I've got bursitis and it was there was a lot of difficulties over there In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say that the last few weeks were hell But you know what things are getting better because they always do they always will and I tell you guys that and sometimes I even forget that even though I say that all the time, but I have to remember that because now things are getting better and when you're sitting around and it's feeling like it's never gonna get any better and it's it's horrible it's terrible you just have to remember that yes it will get better and you just have to get through and look for a better time and that's a better time it's a better time right now and it's getting better every day so everything is groovy we're here with triple triple is our adventurer and he is a weasel he is just a little weasel he is a spacefaring weasel and he is the kind of weasel that he's he's got a he's got a little weasel brain and he cannot comprehend space it is it is really too big for him but that's why he wants to go and see as much of it as he can because he is a he likes he likes space he wants to travel he wants to see everything he possibly can now last time we were here we had this um we had this problem because we hadn't well wait we'd fixed things but uh we were running out of uh, we were running out of life support, which by the way, the life support is completely filled up again and we still have more stuff to be able to fill it with. And the starship was, uh, we fixed the starship, but we didn't quite fuel it up. So we're gonna fuel up the launch thrusters here, bug it. And we're gonna fuel up the fuel, the uh, pulse engine here, bug it. So we, ladies and gentlemen, are now able to take off from this planet and go to, and go explore space. Do you want to explore space? Because I do, and so does Triple. So space, bitches! Here we go. Now we're gonna go, oh, there's a moon. Now, I'm supposed to go and seek answers among the stars. I, I remember at the first of this game, they kind of handholds you a little bit, uh, trying to get you to do a few things. Oh shit, I forgot about doing something. Hang on a minute. Okay, just a second. That looks like a fleet of ships. I hope they're friendly. So anyway, uh, before we do that, we gotta do something. There's something we gotta do. Because we didn't do it before. See this? This is the... This is the... I discovered this... The system! And I discovered that planet. We need to upload this stuff. Because this is the way we get... Whoops! That is not how you do that. This is the way we get, we get money this way. Uh, by uploading our discoveries. I need to, by the way, um, Triple needs to remember to actually scan more things. But I'll tell you what, I'm going, oh no, I can't rename it. Oh, once you upload it, you can't rename it. Okay. Note to self, upload it, uh, rename it first and then upload it. Okay. So, we're done with that. Now we have a waypoint here. I don't know why it's there. Incoming signal, scan to locate. I just scanned, here it be. Okay, it's a space station. Am I supposed to go over there? Is that what I'm doing? Is, is there anything else to do? There's, I mean, I'm, there's a couple other, there's a couple of moons, but we're going to go over to this space station, arrive in one hour. That's a little too slow. Let's go faster, shall we? Seven minutes, still a little too slow. Boom! There we go. That's better. Now we got 18 seconds, 16, 15, okay. So we're, we're, wait, are those, are those moons or are those other planets? Those may be other planets. I am not sure. I am just a little weasel and I am not sure what's going on in my face. Oh, look, it's getting real close. How about that? Okay. And now we have arrived at La Space Station. So 
Let's find our docking port, wherever it may be. Whoa, slow down. Because I remember that. That one looks awfully Earth-like. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is the oh, this is the one place that it's that I've got a marker for. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do here. Well, I could trade some stuff. I mean, there's some stuff that I got that I don't need. I could just sell it. So I think I'm gonna do that. All right. You know, I know it's No Man's Sky and everything, but this is a rather efficient design for a space station, I think. That's just my opinion. We, where, where's the, where do I go? Oh, okay, I'm parked way out here, that's why. Can I get up here? Upgrade the exosuit and build a signal booster. Well, I'll, I'll do that, I'll do that later. I need a blueprint for that. Hi, dude. What's up, my man? Let's talk. Hi. I cannot understand your damn language. Are you taking my gerb? Uh, okay. I hurriedly mime that I am peaceful and know little of their kind of language. They, um... <clears throat> take a second to think, grab my multi-tool. While barking again into my visor, streaking it with saliva, they point at an indicator that shows which elements I carry. I do my best to keep calm. Give... Um, yeah, give him some of that. Oh, cool, I did good. Yeah, teach me the language of some of your people. I'm an American, why don't you know my language already? You're supposed to know my language because I'm an American. What is this? Oh, shield at maximum? Shit, shit, I just got credits for just picking that thing up, holy shit. Uh, if I remember right, I can't go in here, can I? No. I need a pass. Need a pass for that. Okay, but, but... This is a cozy little spot, isn't it? Let's go in here, and let's sell some stuff, shall we? Uh, sell items from my inventories. Uh, let's see. Which one? Okay, exosuit and starship. Yeah, um, a shielding shard... Yeah, sell that, sell that bitch. Um, yeah, sell this, sell the fascination bead. Nah, I need the thanium and the big, big I, I, that stuff I'm gonna, yeah, that's, the, okay, so. Welding soap? What the hell is welding? Um, I, ugh. I got an awful lot of that, but, am, am I gonna keep it? Yeah, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell it. I'm gonna sell it. It is sold. It is gone. The plutonium, the iron, and the other sheet. I don't think I need these for anything. Now that... And if I do, I'll make more. Screw it. Don't care. Okay. Wow. I'm in here. What? What do you want? What do you want? Uh, okay. Well, I know one word you just said. Fire in his eyes. The species is clearly aggressive. And I'm... Okay. Nevertheless, the life form bows in greeting. Tradition and honor perhaps dictate it. I don't feel in danger, and I'm about to turn and leave when the creature points toward my multi-tool. They bark with concern and make a motion to suggest that I should hand it over. I'm not gonna hand you my multi-tool. Screw you. The warrior respects my decision. Oh, I thought I was gonna get into a fight. Cool. Oh, wow. So the Viking... They're, they're kind of like, I guess, Klingons in a way. And that they... Okay, what about you? Uh, I, I got a milestone? What did I do? I, I met two aliens. Great. Uh, um, uh, what else can, can I have? Oh! That's a bright fucking thing. And what are you? Oh, Blueprint Trader! Uh, great. Can I get a blueprint for a signal booster? Weapon of grains and nanite clusters. Uh, I don't think I have nanite clusters. Uh, trade nanite clusters for blue blueprints. Um, beam po Okay, wait, wait. Combat amplifiers. 
No signal boosters. I need it. I need a signal booster. Uh, it's, I want a signal, but you don't have what I want. Grenade intensity sigma. No, I don't need any of this. Uh, okay, and then some of the stuff I'm not even I'm not even enough rank. In fact, a lot of the stuff I'm not even enough rank. Impact damage sigma, uh, sigma and recoil stabilizer sigma. Um. Okay. Well, you know what? For now, I'm I'm I, I'll tell you what. I, I'm gonna I'm just gonna leave. Bye bye. Bye bye. You don't have what I want. We'll see. What do I do now? Here, that's the thing because I. Uh, which ship was my? Oh, here it is. I don't know what I need to do now. I mean, I know I the, the upgrading the signal the, the signal booster is one. That's one thing. But I need to actually. Um, I I need to explore something. There's some kind of thing that I need to find, and I don't know what it is. Um. Okay. Is is there any is there anything? Ah, it's a big big station. Big. Whoops. Back up. What are this? Undiscovered. Um. Scan you, Moon. Is there anything there? Hmm. Doesn't look like anything important is there. So guys, while I'm scanning this system and trying to figure out where I need to go, I'm gonna tell you about a story. Um, and this is, <sighs> have you ever in your life, oops, have you ever in your life had a magical moment? I mean like totally magical moment that you forgot about or that you almost forgot about. That you, you really just forgot existed. You know what? I'm just going to land on this planet. I've just decided. I'm going to land on it. I don't know. I don't even know why. Oops. There we go. Boom. I had a moment um, the other day. It was two days ago. And it caused me to remember something from my childhood that I had almost forgotten. I mean, I had all but forgotten it. I, I'd never... I guess it was just something that passed that, that I didn't think much of at the time, but now that I'm older, I, I'm... I, it was really something special for me. And I had to actually... I had to go over it in my head so I could remember the whole thing. And it it caused some emotions. I'm gonna say that it, it caused me caused a few feelings here and there, just just some feelings, just a little bit. And the reason that it did, whoa 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 whoa! whoa! Shit. Okay, fine. That's 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 good. That's fine. Oh wow, it's very watery here. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's just go down and let's... Can we find a place to land here? Re-entry's a bitch. Okay, here we are. I'm gonna find something interesting around here somewhere and then land on it. So... I was moving. And we had just moved everything in the house. Everything was in the house, and that for I don't know if you know, if, if you guys have ever moved before, but that first night in a new house is, is kind of weird because you don't have anything set up. You know, you don't have any chairs. There's no tables. There's no... Uh, there's, there's no... Nothing that you're... I mean, everything that you have is around you, but it's just not familiar. There's, there's nothing. You don't have anything. You can dig in boxes if you need to find something. You're usually eating out of... You know, paper plates and ordering pizza and things like that because, you know, it's just, it's, you're, you're in a place where it's just all boxes. You're surrounded by piles of boxes. And that, that was me uh, a couple of nights, a few nights ago. And 
As I was sitting there, I kind of stacked up a little pile of boxes. Uh, to be able to eat on. I, I had a little folding chair. And I set up the folding chair and I put my bed down on the ground and I set up a little stack of boxes for a nightstand and I was going to eat some canned uh, food. I, I had a little paper plate and um, I, I was sitting there with a little flashlight in the room and I didn't have a computer set up, I didn't have anything. And there were all these boxes stacked around me and they were kind of like in a maze and I, I had sort of arranged them into different little places, different little areas. You know, a place where I could eat and a place where I could sleep and a place where I could sit down and look at my phone and get news and weather and things like that. And I I had a flashback. You could, you could really call it a flashback. And to something that I totally forgot in my life. And I'm glad that I remembered it because when I was a kid, we moved around a lot. And my mother would always drive the car because the car had to get there somehow. So my mom would drive the car to wherever we were moving to. My dad would drive the moving van. It was usually a U-Haul. And me and my brother, we, well, we'd, we'd meet up and we'd mix and match. Sometimes we'd stay with mom in the car. Sometimes we'd be, be with uh, dad in the U-Haul. But, um... Being with dad in the U-Haul was much better. And this is, like I said, this is something that I just suddenly remembered. Um, when we would move, and this happened, I mean, probably more than most people move, but not a lot, not, not a whole, you know, it didn't happen dozens of times during my life. So I'm just saying like, maybe three, four times, maybe. Whenever we would move, my dad, we would be driving, and there, there were long hours of driving, and, and, and my dad didn't do the whole, you know, 18-hour push for, uh, you know, just to, just to get somewhere. He, you know, he'd drive for a decent amount of time, six or eight hours, and then um, we'd stop. And we'd stop for lunch, and we'd stop for, whoa, rocks. Hello. We'd stop for rocks, too. Um, these are a lot of, there's a lot of planets here, unmapped. What does it mean, unmapped? How do I map it? Barren planet, and it's unmapped too. Uh, let's see here. Undiscovered. Scan that bitch. Can I scan that from here? Let's go look at it. So... We would stop for meals, we'd stop for lunch, we'd stop for dinner, and we'd also stop when it was time to sleep. Uh, we didn't go to a hotel, we, we didn't do that. Pulse engine offline, insufficient fuel. Oh, son of a, no. Are you kidding me? I don't have fuel? Um, can I? I need, I need to go somewhere, somewhere close that has iron. What's closest? Um, I don't think it's that. Whoa, it's probably this. Yes, let's go. Okay, we got to get more iron because we're out of that. We got to have that to refuel our, uh, our faster than shit drive, whatever you want to call it. So, my father. Whoa, slow down. My father would, um, when it was time to sleep, he would pull over to a rest stop. Now, now, keep in mind, this is before cell phones. This is before, um, you know, there was this nationwide network that, 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 that would. You know, you could call anyone anytime from anywhere. Couldn't do this. We'd be out in the middle of nowhere. And... Oh, good God. It's another watery planet. 
Well, I gotta find some iron. Don't know how I'm gonna, but I got to. Yep, come on, let's go below the clouds. There we are. Okay. Let's sit down over here and see if we can find some iron. Iron for us, so we can refuel our drivey drive. Mm, this looks good. This looks good right about here. Landing not clear. What? Ouch. D -d 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 Land, bitch. I, I didn't. Okay. Now, what kind of planet is this? Oh, oh, hi. Hi. Hi, guys. Are, are you mean? There's a lot of you. Shit. You're noisy, too. You're kind of cute. Are you mean? I don't think you're mean. So. Oh. Oh, that's new. My father, we would pull over and be like, okay, we're sleepy. We're tired. And we would get out of the truck and we'd get in the back. We'd get in the back of the U-Haul. And back in the back of the U-Haul, my father had set up. He, he, he didn't Tetris in all of the stuff that we had. In fact, he packed it on purpose simply to to be more of a an environment and we'd go back there and he would set up boxes and he would take uh, the tables and the rocking chairs that we knew from our house and they would be set up in there amongst the oh iron yes Amongst all the boxes, and Jesus, there's a lot of there's a lot of life on this planet. I need iron. So we would have this kind of makeshift place <coughs> where we could live. Table, a chair sitting around it. He would set up a flashlight. And he would turn it toward the ceiling of the of the van. Now he would pull down the van door to a certain point, about a foot before it closed, and he would tie it down there. I don't recommend doing this because you're not you're not supposed to actually you know bunk in the back of a moving van. But at the time, nobody. This wasn't the time when people were gonna come along and lock you in there just for shits and giggles. They wouldn't do that then. So, here we were in the back of the moving van, and we would settle down for the night. Oh, come on, stop moving. Hold still. Oh, I think I already got you. Okay. We would settle down for the night, and we'd even be able to sleep in our own beds, because the bunk beds that we had that me and my brother slept in would be right there in the back, We'd have our own living room, easy chair, rocking chairs and easy chairs. And we would play board games. We would uh, talk with each other and we would get out the, the plastic forks and, and, and the paper, the paper plates. And whoa, Is there anything cool in there? What? Uh, what is this? What are you? You're a massive amount of... Iridium. I could probably sell that for cash. How much space have I got? Sure. I'll grab it and then sell it for cash. I don't care. That'll work. So... We would sit down. We would eat beanie weenies. You know, in, in, out of, you know, in, in paper bowls and, and with, with plastic silverware and in, in this little oasis of home. 
that was set up for us and it, we, you know, you, under the flashlight beam and even though we were in an unfamiliar place we had no idea where we were could be out in the middle of the desert didn't matter we felt like we were home and if we needed something, who did, oh, what, do you need a, a paper towel or something? Okay, well, I think it's in that box over there, and we go and, and look in that box and get it. And it was so, it was so comfortable. It, it was so homey. And, oh boy, you're not going to be a bitch, are you? Better not be. How much iridium do I have? Oh. That's that's go oh, wow nineteen thousand. I'm gonna scan you. Okay. <clears throat> now my life support is going down, so I need to find. Ah, that's exactly what I need to find. I'm gonna go over here and get this. Make sure we have some. We need it. Yep, I know. Anyway, then. Uh, I know everybody's, you know, when, when you think of special moments in your life, everybody's is slightly different. Nobody has the same exact special moments. That one to me was really, really cool and was one that I almost forgot about. I almost totally forgot about it, but every time we moved, this happened. Oh, you're, oh, oh, are you mean? What are you and are you mean? I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check you out. What did I just scan? Was it this? Oh, temperament predator. I may have to kick your ass, buddy. Yep. You're gonna give me some problems. You dead? Good. I got iron out of you. Oh, oh. I'm sorry. It wasn't me. I didn't do it. I, I, that, that, I did not do that. Kristenite. I have no idea what Kristenite is, or if I even need it. That was a, uh, a special moment to me in my life, and it reminded me of it as soon as I was in my room, and I had this maze of boxes set up around me, and I, I was I was watching um, Featherhoof stream, uh, you know, on my phone. And I, I didn't have anything set up. Everything was boxes, but I, I knew where everything was, and I was, I was. It, it just, it felt special, and I didn't know why. And I had to remember that, yeah, when I was a kid, and we were moving, my dad would set it up to where we were actually in a little home away from home. And it was really neat. It was really cool. Now, I, I doubt I'm getting too old to move anymore. I mean, I, I can't carry all this shit around anymore. So it's very likely that from now on, I'm just going to have somebody... I'm going to hire a service just to move stuff for me. But if there is ever a time when, for whatever reason, I do find myself moving in a moving van. I'm going to make sure that I do the same thing that my dad did for me when I was little, just so I can experience it again. There we go. We're scanning a lot of shit. We're gonna get a lot in this. Oh, can I feed you? Can I feed you? I fed you. Now, now, now what? What are you... Are you barking? Oh, he's happy! He's happy! This bitch, he's happy! Because I fed him! Nice! So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if anybody else will connect with that. Or not. Uh, but... I just can't describe how how special that felt uh, to be in the back of the moving van with that flashlight on and our dad there and 
Oh, you're hungry? Well, let's dig up some stuff and we'd, we'd, you know, open cans of fruit cocktail. Oh, where's the can opener? It's in the box, think, back there, and we'd have to walk through a maze and get the... Here's the can opener. We get the can opener, open the fruit cocktail, open the beanie weenies or the Vienna sausages was another big one. And we'd, we'd put it all and we'd have this cold canned meal in front of us on our living room table that we always knew, eating from the chairs that that we'd always eaten in, playing things like shoots and ladders and Monopoly in the back of that truck until we got tired and fell asleep for the night. And we'd wake up in the morning and we'd stretch and we'd yawn and for a minute, you know, it was one of those things where you'd almost forget where you were. You, you thought you were in your house and then you have to look around and go, oh right, we're moving, I forgot. And it was just, then you get back on the road, you get back in the driver's seat and you get back in the cab and then you'd have the excitement of the next day of, of what you were going to see and what you were going to do and what you were going to go past and uh, on, on your travels. And then that night again, or for lunch, you know, or whatever, you'd, you'd suddenly, you know, you'd be in the back of the truck again, eating lunch or, or going to sleep again. It was just, it was very cool. It was very, very cool. Look what I found, just all on my own, by myself. All right. Well, guys, I know this, uh, this episode didn't progress as much because apparently we're supposed to look to space for answers, but I'm, I'm not knowing what we gotta do next, so we're just gonna keep I'm gonna keep exploring around. I may do this off camera. Just explore um, the the planets around and figure out what I need to do next so that we can progress. Uh, because I, I I know it's not just this. This at this point, when the game was originally re originally released, this is what it was. When you got to this point, it was like this is it. You you get to land on planets and refuel your ship, and that's that's it. That's about it. But I know they've they've in, they've actually added a lot to it since then. So I oh, can't scan that darn. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you're fine. What is that over there? Is that plutonium? It is. I'm going to go get it, guys. I hope you don't eat plutonium. I really do, because I'm going to go get this plutonium, and it's going to be mine. And uh, yep. Don't none of y'all stand him away. Okay, I've scanned you already. Plutonium for me. No, you're fine. Don't worry, animals. I'm not going to kill you. Unless you're aggressive and want to kill me. There we go. Plutonium is good for me. Alright, guys. So, anyway, that... That is my story for today. Um, and I, I... I just... Uh, I can't describe how, how special it felt. I hope I get to experience like, something like that again in my life. I mean, I kind of did a few days ago when I was just setting up in here. But have you guys ever experienced a time when you felt unexpectedly comfortable? That's kind of what this was. This was me in a situation where I was... You shouldn't have felt comfortable. Because it was a little kid, we were moving, we are going across country. But it felt comfortable because someone who cared about me, my father, made it comfortable for us. And that's something I won't... Well, I'm going to try not to forget ever again. Because I did kind of forget <laughs> that it happened. But I won't forget it again. And... If, if there is a time that you can think of that's similar in your life, that, that you've had moments where you were really comfortable in a place that you shouldn't be comfortable, let me know. I mean, make a comment down below. I, I, I You guys make long comments, to usually to story time videos. You tell me whole stories, and let me tell you guys, I do not mind that at all, and I read them. I read all of I can't respond to all of them, but I do read all of them because I love hearing your stories too. 
So let me know if there's ever been a time that you felt like you were in a similar position. You were, you know, in, in the middle of a, a place where normally you wouldn't feel comfortable, but something happened to ma make you feel comfortable. I'd, I'd love to hear about that, if that's ever happened to you. Anyway, I'm going to take off for now. Uh, I'm going to find what uh, I'm supposed to be doing in this universe, in this solar system, what I'm supposed to be looking for. And then I'm going to find it. We're going to try and discover that in the next episode. And guys, until then, seriously, from me to you, guys, take care. <laughs>